Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first annual PT Pet Show Award Ceremony. At the beginning of June, we started taking submissions across Peters Township to enter in for our first annual PT Pet Show. So we had over 30 pets submitted, and let's meet the pets. First up, we have Astro. Astro is a black lab mix, age 10. He has a dopey personality and gives puppy eyes all the time for food. Next, we have Confetti. Confetti is a seven month old domestic long hair calico. Confetti is a rescue kitty and she's very affectionate, loves cuddles, is full of energy and hops around like a rabbit. Cooper is an Australian Labradoodle and turns four on June 8th. He is a big teddy bear with his soft curls and huggable personality. He goes with us to all of our outdoor events and is always the center of attention. We adopted Duke, a two to three year old bloodhound two months ago and he's making himself very comfortable in his new home. We left him home alone for 15 minutes and found him on the dining room table, not helping to build a puzzle that we picked up from the library book sale. Another dog that was known is named Toby, and Toby loves to play with our guinea pigs, Emerald and Sapphire, and he is very protective of them. On the right, we have Go Go Booty's Kitty Cat O Creature. She is a Shih Tzu Peekapoo mix and has been with the family for as long as anyone can remember, about eight years now. She loves cuddles and kisses and neck rubs and reading with her mom on the porch and watching superhero movies with her siblings. She really enjoys anything involved being spoiled and every single way possible. She's really good at that. She also adores babies, but she must warn you just because she's small doesn't mean that you should underestimate her. Because according to her mom, she is the best guard kitty in town. Better yet, the world. Hamilton is six years old, a long hair polydactyl marmalade that they think is also part Maine Coon. He has a strong character and enjoys catching bugs. Indy was rescued um, when brought in by a veteran at the PHX Veterans Hospital when he was left outside in 115 degrees. He is the kindest, smartest, most sensitive dog they have ever owned and is great with kids and extremely protective. Move over, Ren Tin Tin. Jasper is a 12 year old English Springer Spaniel, silly and sweet, and a howler extraordinaire, couch bandit, and pizza crust aficionado. Joe is a four-year-old American domestic cat. Joe likes the comforts of family life, his favorite spot in the box under his bookcase where there is a heat vent. It's like a cat oven on a cold day or an ice box on a hot day. Lily is a two-year-old mixed breed lab and cane corso, Neapolitan Mastiff Staffordshire Terrier. She has a goofy personality and loves belly rubs. Lincoln is a one-year-old boxer. He is a wild, playful, and loving puppy. Marley is eight years old and is the sweetest dog. He loves to take walks, float on his raft at the pool, and snuggle up with his people. Martha and Mojo are lab mixes. They were both rescue dogs that found a way into their hearts. They love to play and then relax while we read. Cuddles are always wanted by these guys. Mr. Nibble, Nibbles is a seven and a half year old mini Rex rabbit. He's loving and gentle and a connoisseur of fresh herbs and dried pineapple. Nola is a three month old English cream retriever. She is very curious and constantly busy looking for some mischief to get into. She is super sweet and greets everyone she meets with a wiggling bottom and big smile. Preston is a tuxedo cat who is two and a half years old. He is curious, playful, and full of personality. Rosie is a teddy bear, part Shih Tzu, part Picon. She will be four years old in July. Extremely smart and loving, she loves children and people in general. She will let you know when it's bathroom and mealtime, and she loves to play and chase her toys. According to her owner, Sally is the best cat. Even though the name is Sally, he is a boy, a Maine Coon cat. My uncle found him as a stray when he was just a few weeks old. He is the best cuddler and seems to know when I need cheering up. He loves watermelon and turkey, although we just give him a taste once for a while. He is so loved. Next up, we have Sammy. Sammy is a three-year-old American domestic cat. Sammy likes the comforts of home along with him. After a long day protecting the garden from the critters. 
Snickers is a six-year-old Cocker Spaniel who loves to take walks, bark at squirrels, and snuggle. He also provides moral support for his sisters during math homework. Steel is a seven-year-old Australian Shepherd and is very intelligent. Snickers or Sturgill was adopted in January of 2020 through Bridge to Home Rescue. He came to Peters by way of Tennessee after his owners abandoned him. Their loss, our gain. We think he's about two and a half years old, but can't confirm. He's a Border Collie mix, very smart, full of energy, and very affectionate. The white markings on his chest are almost the shape of a heart, which suits him because he is a real sweetie. He's always ready to walk or run around the yard or roll in the glass, grass, and he loves to be petted and to snuggle at the end of the day, or any time really. Sturge adds a lot of joy to her eyes. Sippy and Marmalade are both 10 years old domestic short hairs. They are actually cousins born a few days apart. They have been best buddies since they first met each other. On the right, we have Toby. He is a rescue terrier mix and is six years old. He loves playing balls, going on walks, enjoys going camping with the family. His favorite food is steak and dog treats. And we could not have asked for a better dog than Toby. He is the best and we love him so much. Trico is a two-year-old crested gecko. He is energetic and inquisitive. Toosie is a broken lilac mini rex rabbit and that is about three months old. Toosie likes to chew on blocks and pose in her cage. And our last two pets, Zane is 12 years old, a beautiful male Siberian husky. This old man has a wild spirit that loves being outdoors. He ran away whenever he had the chance in his younger years, but now that he's a little older in age, he slowed down and we can let him outside, though not unwatched, knowing we won't have to chase after him. Whenever we call him inside, he walks us possible and join the fresh scent and sounds of nature. And our last dog, Ziggy. Ziggy is a nine-year-old schnoodle. Ziggy's biological mother was a schnauzer and biological dog was a toy poodle. Ziggy is very energetic. He loves to play, fetch, take walks, watch TV, his favorite shows of all anything with animals. And Ziggy loves to hang out with his family. Ziggy is very lovable and would absolutely love to be a mascot for the library. So, to our voting, we had almost 500 responses in our online poll for the uh, different categories, plus the staff got to vote for staff favorites for summer reading mascots. So our first category is best hair. We had Cooper, Beal, and Toby in this category, and our winner for best hair is Beal. Congratulations, Beal. Next up was the category of most studious. We had Duke, Go Go and Snickers. And our winner for most studious was Duke. Congratulations, Duke. Next up for Best Smile, we have Indy, Jasper, Lily, Lincoln, and Zane. This was some tough competition, but our winner was Lily. Congratulations, Lily. Next, we had the Best Besties category. This was great because we had several animals that were submitted via pair. So first up, we have Emerald and Sapphire. They are guinea pigs, Martha and Mojo, which are dogs, and Tippy and Marmalade, which are cats. So our winner for the Best Besties Award goes to Tippy and Marmalade. Congratulations. Next, we have the Best Not a Cat or Dog Award. We had Gizmo, from the library, of course, Mr. Nibbles, Tico, and so our winner for the best Not a Cat or Dog Award was Mr. Nibbles. Congratulations, Mr. Nibbles. Now our most photogenic cat. We had uh, six cats in this category, Confetti, Hamilton, Joe, Preston, Sally, and Sammy. And our winner for the most photogenic cat is Hamilton. Congratulations, Hamilton. Next, we have the most photogenic dog. Astro, Marley, Nola, Rozzy, Sturgill, and, excuse me, Vicky. Now there could only be one winner and that winner was Nola. Congratulations, Nola. Now our staff picks for summer reading were Mr. Nibbles, Marley, and Rozzy. All the staff got to, if they did it in time, all the staff got to pick their favorite five animals. And once those were tallied, we were left with Mr. Nibbles, Marley, and Rozzy. We'll be contacting you about using your pet pictures on first reading staff. And the best pet in Peters Township honorable mention. Now, this was a very close race, and they were separated by one point. 
So I thought that Lily definitely deserved mention here. So Lily won honorable mention for best pet in Peters Township. And all together, the very best pet in Peters Township, according to the people, is Duke. Thank you all so much for voting and sending your pets in and being part of our first annual PT Pet Show. We look forward to doing more in the future. And a quick plug for summer reading. This animal themed program is part of our Tales and Tales summer reading. Now this program was for kids and adults, but if you're an adult, we definitely have more things available for you on our app. You can join our summer reading challenge for your reading books, completing reviews and activities and a tip to earn points. 100 points gets you a prize from the library. And then once you complete 10 books, 10 reviews and 10 activities, you get a chance to win prize passes at the end of the summer. There's also reading challenges available for younger readers from birth to high school. Bye everybody, thanks for joining us and have a great day.